We're so excited to be back for a walk in the park 2023. We're expecting over 2,000 people today to gather and unite for Parkinson's. I find that it's a good chance to communicate the actual broadness of the range of people that actually get Parkinson's. Matt is one of my few friends. I was there when he got his diagnosis and he coming into the gym one day and just bursting into tears. It was so hard to see someone so strong be that such broken down, so we do what we can to try and support. It can affect anyone at any time. It's not, it's not just old people that get it. This year is a bit different. We're really lifting the lid off Parkinson's disease in the community. We're so misunderstood and uh, it's really struggled to get accepted and, and you get looked at uh, badly because you've got balance issues and you can't take public transport in peak hour because you're seen as a menace. It really gives an opportunity for people to really understand us. Parkinson's is now recognised as the fastest growing neurological condition in the world. There are 57,000 Victorians living with Parkinson's and 119,000 Australians. And there's a real misconception that we need to lift the lid off and that it's an older person's condition. When people as young as 30 are diagnosed with Parkinson's and are living with up to 40 symptoms. Yeah, you can see there's so many people here, dogs, everything along those lines. And uh, it just really creates a community that's uh, really uh, warm and, and embracing and, and you know, just uh, lets people know that you know they're not in it alone and, and then they can get the support they need from a great organisation like uh, Fight Parkinson's. It's touched our family because unfortunately Dad has Parkinson's and uh, we, uh, we are all about awa uh, raising awareness and, and doing our little bit to try and help her find a cure for this thing. Wasn't it wonderful to see so many people come together and really um, lift the lid off Parkinson's this year. Um, it was an amazing coming together and it was so beautiful to have community unite and be strong and brave for those fighting Parkinson's.